What's up guys, coming at you with a tutorial video to help you set up the Razer Ripsaw capture card with your Astro A50 headsets. This video is for anyone who has a multi-PC um, setup. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into showing you what I did to help you get the sound out of your headset and the sound sent over through your Razer Ripsaw to your secondary PC. All right, let's jump into it. All right, first we're gonna talk about my setup. This is my primary gaming PC that I have here. It's pushing the video out through HDMI and it's going to my Razer Ripsaw capture card. Capture card is hooked up USB to my laptop. The laptop is only using the Streamlabs OBS software and it's pushing out to Twitch or YouTube whichever I have it hooked up to at the time and my headset is the Astro A50s and that is a USB connection for USB audio out of the PC to my headset alright so when you hook up your Razer Ripsaw it becomes its own playback device. So the Razer Ripsaw wants you to select this in order to kick out your uh, your gaming audio through the, basically it's going to be sending it through the HDMI out over to my, which would be my secondary laptop, maybe it's your secondary computer, whatever your Ripsaw is hooked up to. It's going to pump that audio out through HDMI, through the capture card, over to what you have it hooked up to. So doing that, for me, having the Astro A50s, I won't hear any audio out of my headset anymore. Huge downfall. So I scoured, started searching the YouTubes, searching the internet, and I found a bunch of people, uh, YouTube videos when I started searching how to set two playback devices so the what it showed me to do was to open up this sound control panel this was the first thing that I came across which I was like hey maybe this will work it didn't so it said to set your default playback device I was like okay I want my default playback device to be my Astro A50s so I set that and then it tells you to come over here to recording and show disabled devices and once you do that it shows which is normally all grayed out like this but I've already tried this and it didn't work so you're gonna go over here and you're gonna go to stereo mix it says go to properties and then you're gonna go over to listen it's gonna have tell you to check this device to listen to and set whatever you would want as your secondary device is that. So I had it set to my Razer Ripsaw. Every time I restart my computer, it goes back to default playback device. But as we all know, the default playback device is my Astro A50s. So I'm just setting a device to listen to myself, which was horrible. I ended up coming across a little web chat and somebody said to use this. This is a uh, VB audio software. It's freeware. I'll put a link for this down in my description. Uh, you, voice meter, virtual audio mixer. Uh, it's an audio mixer application endowed with virtual audio device. It comes with like six different applications in it, which is awesome, but really you only need one you only need the voice meter so you just download that and go ahead and open it up and this is what it looks like when you open it alright here we go so what I ended up having to do to set this up was default device Astro A50s that's going to be my input device so boom you set that that's your input device your headphones which it also is picking up my microphone. Awesome, because before 
I was using a little shitty microphone off my laptop. Horrible. Anybody watching your stream, they can barely hear you because you're using a shit microphone. I got an awesome microphone right here. So that number one was horrible. So once I set this up, now everybody can hear me over there. It's awesome. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is where do you want your, your output to go? You want your output to go through the Razor Rip Saw. So you come over here, A1, Razor Rip Saw. Click that. And then boom, just like that, your audio from your Astro A50s is getting sent out to your Razor Rip Saw capture card. All right, guys, now I got Streamlabs OBS up and running over on my secondary laptop. This is what my all the audio for the Razor Rip Saw is being pushed over to right now. Over in the top left corner, you can see where I have the Razor Rip Saw right here. It's picking up all of the audio coming through my voice. Any of the game audio from my main PC is being pushed over to there. And just to show you that the uh, game audio or video audio is being sent over as well. Got a little video here. Oh my god. At least I got that one. Yes, I did. I did get that one. Alright guys, hopefully this helped you set up your Razer Ripsaw capture card so that way you can hear your audio and whether you're recording or streaming, your viewers can hear your audio. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, click the subscribe, hit the little notification bell. If I ever come up with something that I can't figure out and I finally find a solve, I'm going to put it out there so you guys can just skip all the bullshit that I went through. Alright, thanks for watching.